Boy, there have been a whole bunch of screw-ups today, including one right here where players got tons of shards because of a bug and also a potential oversight where you, that's right, pretty much everyone can get a four-star Old Man Logan by completing one node. And I think this was an oversight. This has to do with going into difficulty 15 with zero mods, zero scourges on, and you can go into difficulty 15 and do just the first node, and you can use your entire roster, and that'll give you 1.4 million points, enough points to unlock a four-star Old Man Logan. So big shout out to Na for discovering this live on stream. And I think it kind of was set up that way. Like if we look at the infographic that was released on Twitter the other day, you can see that we've got the difficulties one through 15 and there was absolutely zero requirements to go into the very first node and you can use your entire roster. You won't be able to go into node two or further, but doing the first node, and this only works on difficulty 15, will give you enough points to unlock old man Logan. So. We've got reports here from Red Code. Did difficulty 15 node one with an 800,000 G15 spider society took forever and they eventually did die with three enemies left, cleaned up with extreme and got the unlock. So you can use your entire roster for this. Now, this is from K9 Kismet who has been playing the game less than six months. He had a 1.2 million extreme X-Men and he was able to unlock old man Logan. Now me personally, I have a baby account that is like five, six weeks old and my extreme is about 500,000. I did try, but I wasn't able to get in there and get it done. Maybe in the next 10 days, I'll have enough time to upgrade my team and then use the rest of my roster and I'll be able to unlock that. But tons of people are super happy with this trick oversight i don't want to say it was like a bug or a loophole but i think it was an oversight i don't think that was their intention for almost everybody to be able to unlock old man logan uh on day one now there has been some controversy on the rest of it like people that didn't buy any of the unlock teams and then people like myself who did purchase enough to get into difficulty 12 we're basically left with a situation where we can go in, max out the difficulties, and then we're done with nothing to do for the next done nine days. Now, I just want to read this, and I kind of thought that this was going to happen, but I just want to explain the situation and why this is potentially bad for Scopely because the free-to-play players are pissed off, and I'm also going to talk about how potentially the spenders are going to be pissed off because... This was designed to give the spenders an advantage, right? But they potentially could be really screwing over the spenders as well. Thanks for making one of the most fun days in Marvel Strike Force only available to spenders. Scourges have been event days in Marvel Strike Force where they were bought in the game. Been the best days, right? The most fun, most challenging RNG fest the game offers. Really have enjoyed them up until today because I didn't wail on Starbrand basically autoed my way to a four star in 10 minutes now i sit here while others get to have fun because they spent a lot of money what a done dumb unforced air this i'm a light spender that bought black knight and i'm not going to waste money on a crap character like starbrand yeah that guy's terrible i get the point of the game is to make money but how many underpowered rng teams like mine were really affecting the folks that were already spending feels like a massive unneeded overcorrection downvote and so basically locked out of going into difficulty or 11 and 10 and at difficulty 10 with all the scourges turned on there's not enough points to get the five star and that's it super easy for a lot of players this player says the same thing worst legendary event of all time crushed level 10 with all scourges less than an hour and now i'm done because i'm gated by five star requirement the new owners of marvel strike force did this on purpose it pulled back on shards during the initial race, then promised that characters would be farmable soon after, but not in time for events or showcases or when it matters. I uh, hope you spenders have a great week. I'm going to enjoy the holiday weekend. And this one, right, this person right here is a light spender. I think I'm in this category. So, you know, I have basically 
uh, the required teams at five stars. So I was able to get a five star old man Logan. I can go into difficulty 12, but it's really easy, right? Remember when the Scourge Trials are worth doing over and over again? Just finish my difficulty 12. All Scourges will run less than two hours. Now I have exactly zero reasons to try again for a better score because I'm locked out of going any higher. Shame on you, Scopely. Seriously, this was my favorite thing to do. And now you went and ruined it. I would literally spend most of my week trying to climb and climb. Now I have nine days and 22 hours to do nothing. And I'm just going to take this a step forward. And I, and I know that... Probably there's a lot of people out there that don't care about the spenders, but put yourself in this situation where, uh, just say hypothetically, I'm going to switch sides right here. You did go and buy all the teams up to seven stars. Now, what if 600 people did that? Well, guess what? It's possible in theory for someone to have spent a ton of money to get all the unlock requirements to seven stars and they don't even get a seven star if they place 501 they're going to get a six star it's also possible that um more than 5,000 people like 6,000 people have this team at six stars and all the people that spend all that money to get a six star if you place a 5,001 you get a five star this effectively could be pissing off the spenders the hardcore free-to-play veteran players I, I feel like the only win here right now today is this oversight loophole where people can go into node 15 no scourges turned on no difficult you know just and do one node and get old man logan unlocked other than that i think this is a bad change this is just a bad change also let's talk about some massive bugs massive massive bugs this guy logged into the game and found that he had 16 million fragments of the orb that gave the requirements for this and their roster looked like crazy once they opened this so they did respond to this techno issue with aged adamantium orbs was observed during the old man logan event preview which caught players to have incorrect balances this issue is currently being investigated in the meantime aged adamantium orbs and the baby orbs were removed from the store now my understanding is that they're back at least they are in my account, but um, some people said it's not. Then they came out with a second post. Here are the updates to two target topics regarding the old man Logan trials. The age adamantium issue we communicated early affected a very small number of players to ensure fairness and integrity of the leaderboard. Affected players will be excluded from the old man leaderboards and will be removing the excess shards from the affected players inventory. Okay, and I think there's going to be some people that just don't believe this and each individual person based on their experience with Scopely's history and the way that they do things may or may not believe that. That's up for you. The second update is for the Old Man Logan Trials leaderboards. After reviewing initial feedback around the Old Man Logan Trials, we've decided to update the leaderboard rewards and this only affects the top 5,000. Specifically, we're adding gold and trading module resources to the top 5,000 in the old man logan leaderboards the resources should help leaderboard places placers hit the ground running as they power up old man logan after unlocking him with the token so i'm not going to explain the full reasoning behind this but it, it does make sense to me in some way because i don't think they anticipated you know giving out the character today and everybody's going to upgrade not everybody but most people are going to upgrade their characters now um, they added 10 million gold to the top 500 and they added 4 million in trading materials, of course, to the top 5,000. So I do want to say there's an opportunity for a small group of players. If you think you're going to place in the top 5,000 and you choose not to upgrade old man Logan, when you're awarded your token at the end of the nine days, you're effectively saving yourself a lot of gold because the token does upgrade uh, the character to a higher level. I believe you get him at level 50 and this will take you to like level 70 or 80 and the amount of gold that you would save would be 4 million. But I think in general, almost everybody is going to be upgrading uh, their character uh, today. Also, um, initial thoughts, Logan ISO is striker. And I just want to say that is in his team. I think outside of his team and if you're using Logan in arena, probably going to want to make him a skirmisher and then his teammates 
might want to be striker and that thinking behind that is that you're going to enable the striker skirmisher combo which is very powerful all right let's go on to the next topic there was a blog post today and the big news there's two pieces of news one of them was screwed up and one of them is okay keep an eye out for inbox messaging alerting you to character availability diamonds for nova quicksilver and green goblin classic in the elite store yay void knight will go to the spotlight raid orb so they're making some changes with the greek raids and um, they're getting rid of two of them they're leaving the alpha and then that will be basically the alpha raid and then the spotlight raid the spotlight raid will have void knight gwenum will go to the blitz store and blitz orb and then red goblin go to the cosmic crucible store so save the currency for the cosmic crucible we just got paid out yesterday uh hopefully you saved up enough to finish off red goblin the second part of the blog post let me switch to the other side and this did not happen like our previous couple of seasons we won't be adjusting player rank however this will change in upcoming seasons so make season eight count in order to climb the ranks and enjoy the rewards well our rank did drop i believe what they meant to say unlike our previous couple seasons we won't be adjusting the player player rank so um this did not happen um there is some compression going with the ranking system from season to season with the reset not enough people uh, people are not making the higher ranks like grandmaster like they used to because um i don't think they accounted for people leaving the game and so i think they're aware of this problem now and they were going to address it possibly and maybe not reset our player rank but straight up that did not happen also there's some step up offers so when you unlock old man logan there's an offer for 35 dollars which gives you some T4s, they typically try to sell that to you for 20 bucks. And this is uh, the, the basic, which makes uh, the, you know, the awakened ability on Man Logan. It's all right. I don't think it's super awesome, but it's all right, right? And then if you buy that, you get the second offer right here, which is $25. And you've got some pieces. Uh, keep in mind, these pieces right here cost 800,000 gold each so that's a lot of gold i don't know 4 million 12 million gold uh, i don't know that's still kind of bad right i don't think that's great then right here we've got some more pieces for 20 dollars, and then lastly the last offer you can get 20 million gold for 15 bucks all right so run don't walk you know you can go into node 15 with no scourges and you can use your entire roster hopefully you can get through that and unlock old man logan easily in just one single no let me know what you think in the comment section as always thanks for watching bye for now